morning everyone i am dr satyabrat sir mdm clinical pharmacologist and today i am going to talk on evdm that is evidence based medicine and we all know that it is a process of life long self directed problem based learning in which caring for one's own cleft patients creates the need for clinically important information about diagnosis prognosis therapy and other clinical and health care issues and there is a pyramid that is the hierarchy and levels of evidence and in this pyramid uh, the base is uh, animal and laboratory studies and then come the uh, uh, case report or case series and uh, above case report and case series there is case control studies and uh, then the cohort studies and uh, randomized control trial above the cohort studies then meta analysis and systematic reviews then the practice guidelines and the practice guideline is above uh, all studies and from the practice guidelines uh, uh, according to the guidelines we have to uh, treat the patients and uh, meta analysis and systematic review uh, that is uh, different articles are taken uh, in the systematic review and the uh, statistical analysis will be done by the meta analysis and Uh, randomized control trials uh, it is also the best uh, evidence uh, uh, for uh, conducting clinical trials and discovery of drugs and and in the animal and laboratory studies uh, there is uh, no humans are involved but in case report uh, studies uh, about the uh, cases uh, on patients and there is no design and uh, the case control study cohort study uh, they are included in the observational studies and the case control studies cohort studies and randomized control trial they are the primary studies and meta analysis systematic review and practice guidelines are the secondary pre approved or filter studies and uh, according to this evidence based medicine uh, we should practice uh, and Uh, that will be helpful for the patients thank you